Former NWA referee Tom Young shoots both on Ole Anderson and Dusty Rhodes. One thing I really respect about Tom Young, there's no agenda when he talks during the shoot interview. He tells it like it is, the good, bad, and the ugly. And Tom Young also shoots on working for the Jim Crockett Promotions, of course, headed by Jim Crockett Jr. And his brother David, as you see here with Tony Schiavone, and also mentioned as Jackie Crockett, and a few others from the Crockett family. Let's get right to it with, again, Tommy Young shooting on Ole Anderson, Dusty Rhodes, and working for the Crockett's. Uh, Ole Anderson. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, brother. Ole, Ole, Ole. Just a big, dumb Polak who thought he was smart as hell. I must say, he and, he and Gene were the most fluid team I ever refereed. That's saying a lot. Uh, personally, he was, he was very difficult to work with because he got his jollies putting people down. Now, I'm not trying to say that always a bad guy, but he made me miserable a lot of times. And uh, he didn't think I was a good referee. He didn't think Steamboat was box office. Need I say more? As a performer in the ring, good work ethic. Him and Gene, like I said, greatest tag team I ever, ever saw. They never put the heat on the referee. They kept the heat on themselves. For that, I respect him. A little bit more difficult to respect him personally. I, I do to a degree. I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but... Ole can be very vicious. <laughs> How about uh, Dusty Rhodes? That man really made a difference in Tommy Young's career. I started making real money when Dusty came along. Dusty really, Dusty was the dead opposite of Ole. Ole didn't think I was worth a damn. Dusty thought I was the greatest thing since Spice Brett from a referee standpoint. And, and he, he booked me well. Didn't like all the things that Dusty did. But I'm sure he didn't like all the things I did. But I'm very grateful to Dusty Rhodes for what he did for Tommy Young. It's amazing that a man look could look the way he did and get over the way he did. The one drawback he had was that he was always trying to get over Flair and he could never really get over Flair. Not too many people are. But I'll tell you, he had a tremendous amount of charisma. I guess he still does. I don't see him. I don't stay in touch with him. I'd like to, but he doesn't stay in touch with me. Uh, he was gone as the booker when I broke my neck, so he was out. But uh, he's had a tremendous influence in this business. He has a great mind. His son, Dustin, is, is, is a very nice person and, and a very good performer. One guy, he can be the natural and he can be gold dust. That's versatility right there, brother. But I, I basically have very good thoughts and feelings for Dusty. Dusty was good to me. How about the Crockett's? Uh, their personalities just were not very good. They just aren't outgoing people. Jimmy, I was cocky during my career. I don't think I'm coming across too cocky in this interview, but I was kind of cocky. I'll never forget this one time, me and Flair were walking down the hall at the office. This was sometime in the early to mid-80s. And here come Jimmy. And I said, Jimmy, stop and behold. Look, look what you've got. You've got the greatest wrestler and the greatest referee in this profession, and they're all yours. Flair's going, oh, my God, like that. And Crockett just looked at me and looked right through me and walked right on by and didn't say a word. I was roaring. I was laughing so hard. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, I had a lot of good years here, and Jimmy was the boss, and Jimmy lent me money early in my career when I needed it. I can't knock Jimmy. I mean, I like him. I, I, I had some conflict with David, but overall, David's a good guy, too. 
I, David still lives here in town. I just recently saw him at Flair's mama's uh, funeral. Kay just recently passed away. What a what a sweet lady she was. Wonderful person. His father, Dick, too. Uh, David was there. Uh, Jackie's still in town. I don't know what Jackie's doing. Frances, the sister, who never was really involved in wrestling. She was involved in another aspect of the family. Family had a baseball team. She was involved in that. But uh, I, ha I have good feelings for the Crockett's good thoughts. They were a little tough to work for sometimes. They didn't seem to like my ego. But they never got rid of me. 